Excellent point. Chair recognizes Mr. Wilson. Thank you, Chairman Mike McCall. And also, I want to thank uh, Ranking Member Greg Meeks uh, for the bipartisan uh, dedication to exposing the single party dictatorship of the Chinese Communist Party. And it's also very revealing that, uh, amazingly enough, I agree with everything that Congressman Brad Sherman just said. And so, uh, uh, and I don't want to ruin his reputation back home, but. Uh, but uh, hey, I, I even agree frequently with Kathy Manning too. So I'm going to uh, brand several of you. Uh, hey, we are working together in a bipartisan manner on this. Uh, it's sad to me that the people of China are oppressed by the Chinese Communist Party. I appreciate firsthand the people of China. My father, First Lieutenant Hugh Wilson, served in the Flying Tigers, the 14th Air Force, in Kunming, Chengdu, and Xi'an. Our family has great affection for the people of China. We are inspired by the people of Taiwan in this week's elections. Courageously, the Taiwanese have voted for democracy and freedom. Taiwan is a beacon of success for a free market democracy. With that in mind, Mr. Pottinger, since the murderous October 7th terrorist attacks by Iran puppets of Hamas into Israel, the Chinese Communist Party has stepped up their outreach to the Gulf allies of America and partners, hoping to capitalize on destabilization caused by the Iranian regime's terrorist networks and is working together with war criminal Putin to gain a foothold in the region. There is significant increase in media by the Chinese Communist Party and by war criminal Putin across the region in Arabic. Had the question, how do you see the CCP working to increase its influence in the Middle East and what can be done to counter the increased role of the region in the region? And how is the threat to U.S. interests, as we sadly are in a conflict we did not choose, of dictators with rule of gun invading democracies with rule of law? Congressman, thank you for those comments. And I, and I, I would love to see photos of your father uh, in Kunming uh, with the P-40 uh, flying tiger. It's a fantastic. Uh, hey, legacy. Hey, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Brilliant. I, yeah, submit for the record. The, I, I, um, uh, look, I, I, I think you're exactly right that, that um, these conflicts that are beginning to um, uh, spread us thin are, in fact, related. Uh, I, I believe that the, the incoming Chinese foreign minister was here recently and, and made, made a remark to a U.S. audience when he was in the U.S. Uh, specifically that they are not related. Of course he would say that. Uh, they are very much related. China is the number one backer uh, economically for Russia, certainly diplomatically for Russia. Uh, according to a State Department report that came out last year from the Global Engagement Center, China is spending more money on pro-Russian propaganda worldwide than Russia is spending on pro-Russian propaganda worldwide. Uh, China is, is a key backer for Iran. Uh, uh, it is no coincidence, the, I, I like the way that you put it, that they're trying to capitalize on, on this situation. Uh, I've noticed that Chinese shipping is not affected in the Red Sea the same way that everyone else's shipping is. That is not by accident. That's being engineered by virtue of the fact that China is uh, one of the main buyers of Iranian oil. Uh, these things are related. And, and I, I'll paraphrase Xi Jinping, uh, who has said something frequently uh, going back at least to 2021. He, he's given internal speeches where he has said, the lead word to describe the global situation today is chaos chaos. And he's gone on in those speeches to make clear that he views that as a favorable condition for China achieving its ambitions worldwide. So here we are. Chaos is something that is part of the design of China's global ambitions and of its foreign policy. And it, we, at our peril, fail to connect those dots. Those dots are very much connected, sir. In, indeed they are. And I uh, I really appreciate one of the great achievements of President Donald Trump were the Abraham Accords uh, to, provi to provide for stability and uh, success uh, for our Middle Eastern allies. And then, sadly, I really believe one of the reasons that Iran, uh, through their puppets of Hamas, uh, attacked uh, murderously and conducted the mass murder in Israel was to disrupt the ability of Saudi Arabia to uh, join in 
uh, and which have been so beneficial to Saudi Arabia and to the uh, Middle East region. And so with that, hey, thank both of you for being here. But I really want to thank, again, the chairman ranking member. Uh, all of this needs to be exposed. I yield back. Chairman, you